Unified. And I think that Absolutely. is something I, I've been waiting to hear for years. Uh, could you recapitulate a bit about what you said in that speech? Well, um, the, you know, it's funny. I've, I've done so many speeches throughout the years in, in, in corporations and, and working for the city. And, and I, I was just looking at people's hearts and looking at what they really want. And honestly, I was just articula articulating what actually people wanted in the Middle East. Um, but also, you know, Christians and Muslims are people of the book. Right. And, and you know, so the, they are considered brothers and sisters of the same family. And so I wanted to, to dwell on that as best as I can, you know. But at the same time, you know, you want to talk about that community, go right ahead. Just don't keep, you know, pushing it on people and pushing one opinion because Canada is made of 99 flavors. Right. Uh, what's to say which is the particular one? I mean, I don't expect you, David. Uh, to pray five times a day as a Muslim and come to the, my mosque to be my friend. With, with it's true. My, my, and, and, you know, our prime minister is also passing fatwas. I mean, to pass a fatwa, a, a, a sheikh of a mosque can't pass a fatwa, right? You have to go to the scholars. You have to go to the PhDs. And the PhDs, they serve the, the utmost scholars, just like, you know, any, any uh, 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 you know, like in, in the Torah, same thing with the rabbis. They have to go to the orthodoxy and orthopraxy and all that kind of stuff. He's just passing fatwas and he's telling us what our Islam is. And so is, you know, the radical left community telling us what our Islam is. Uh, can you just talk to the Muslims? They'll tell you what is, what their Islam is, uh, you know, and and so nobody's listening when it comes to that, and and it's 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 sad to see, and we have to change that, and I think uh, the reason why that's happening is Muslims uh, waited patiently, and saw our Christian brothers and sisters uh, weep and say, hey, look, we're gonna need some help, and and we came to the rescue, obviously. LGBTQ agenda is okay. With the Muslim faith, uh, it's I. I just thought this was absolute dynamite. I mean, it's, it's blasphemy. But the kids are thing. actually getting this. Yes. Uh, so here's what's happened. Uh, so there's there's uh, you're gonna uh, maybe after this podcast, uh, uh, you know, feel free to you know throw up uh, with what I'm about to tell you. So what's happened is those things that I showed you are happening without the knowledge of parents. They're called pop-up indoctrination segments. So they uh -huh. close the door. I was told by parents and the kids themselves, because they're Muslim community here in Ottawa, that they locked up the school. They're not allowed to come out until this thing is done. So this purported gay imam who, who says he's an imam, I don't know what mosque he belongs to, and we're going to take him on a class action lawsuit for falsifying Islamic principles and the Quran, <laughs> and specifically Surah Lut that talks about this thing. And he's made some fatwas and some hadiths made up in those uh, uh, words that he has. And he's saying, oh, it's, it's OK to be Muslim and queer and it's OK to do this. And he's talking to kids. Now, again, uh, you know, there, there, I've, I've known some liberal politicians that, you know, I'm not going to name any names that are not liking what's happening and that, that are traditional uh, liberals. Um, and I, again, I'm, 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 you know, as a Muslim, you know, when somebody tells you something in, in secret, you want to keep that. So, you know, to keep that trust. Um, so there are politicians, you know, that don't like what's going on. So for me. Um, I know Justin Trudeau is going to lose a lot of seats. Um, what I'd like to see is a prime minister that puts Canada first. Whoever that is, it's definitely not Jagmeet Singh either. Right? Yeah. Um, whoever that is, I just hope that they can take this Muslim, Christian, Canadian unity that's going to be solidified for centuries to come because we're all, it's natural. We've, we've, we've worked together for uh, hundreds of years, Islam, 1400 years, uh, Christianity, 2000 years and Judaism. I don't know how long, long before that. So we've worked together for a long time. It's worked in Europe. It's worked in the Middle East and it's going to work in Canada. Pierre Poliev, you reached out to the uh, Muslim community. You said Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you very much for that.